Now, Russia and China have agreed that dialogue is the only way to resolve North Korea's growing nuclear missile threats. The leaders of the two countries also urged both Koreas and the United States to support Beijing's de-escalation plan. With more details, Noah Aram reports. The foreign ministries of Beijing and Moscow issued a joint statement which called on North Korea to freeze its nuclear and missile activities. But it also said that in turn, Seoul and Washington should halt their joint military drills and withdraw the third anti-missile system that is deployed on the Korean peninsula. The statement came after Russian President Vladimir Putin hosted his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping at the Kremlin on Tuesday. We actively agreed to develop our mutual initiative based on Russia's step-by-step -step plan for Korean settlement and Chinese ideas. At the same time, freezing the nuclear capabilities of the DPRK and large-scale military exercises by the United States and the Republic of Korea. While calling the North's recent missile test unacceptable, Beijing and Moscow said the confronting parties should sit down for talks to agree on principles that include a refusal to use force and a pledge to denuclearize the Korean peninsula. The statement emphasized that these talks could only be initiated if other nations create a peaceful atmosphere of mutual trust. Meanwhile, the leaders of the two countries reaffirmed their strong relationship and Xi said his visit was very productive. Overall, I can say that the visit was very productive and gave a new impulse to the development of Chinese-Russian cooperation and strategic partnership. Putin and Xi also signed several dozen intergovernmental agreements and trade deals during their summit. Both are also scheduled to attend this week's G20 gathering in Germany, where Putin is also expected to meet U.S. President Donald Trump for the first time. Noadam, Arirang News.